I think there's a typo on the title of this. It was supposed to say the benefit of goals. And I'm pretty sure that's not what it said, but I just saw it briefly. So I don't even know. Um, hey guys, it's Saturday night. <clears throat> and I wanted to check in because here's the deal. Since I got back from Mexico, I haven't really had a goal that I'm working on per se. So it's been a little bit trickier, not necessarily to be like, I, I wasn't trying to be perfect on my, my nutrition. I didn't completely derail, but I just wasn't really focused. So I was sort of just dabbling in mostly eating well and then allowing things that I probably shouldn't have allowed. And um, doing my workouts, um, I've been really tired still since I got back. So I've been doing my workouts, but maybe not pushing as hard. And I realized today that there's a benefit to having a goal because pre-Mexico, I knew my goal. I knew what I wanted to feel like, not weigh. I knew what I wanted to feel like on the beach in Mexico. There is a huge benefit to having goals because goals will keep you on track. If you think um, you want to hit a certain weight or you want to get a certain amount of workouts in or be a certain size or whatever it might be that's motivating you, but you don't have a plan in place or a date set for that goal, you likely won't hit it because you're just not driven to do so. You're just, you're just sort of um, um, drifting and, and maybe it'll happen and maybe it won't. So I wanted to really, really encourage you to set targeted specific short-term goals. So my short-term goal is, um, I know it shouldn't be weight, but for me, just deal with it, it is. Um, I do want to lose 10 pounds because when I have that goal in mind, I'm so on track with my nutrition. I don't allow myself to go off track other than my one flex meal because I'm encouraged by what I'm trying to achieve. Um, I also have a certain goal for how I want to fit my clothes. As soon as I, I'm the type of body type that if I put on like five extra pounds, I feel it and I notice it. I notice it in my face right away. You might not, but I do. And so I need a goal to keep me on track. And so I would encourage you to set one, not necessarily tonight, but tomorrow is Sunday, and Sunday is a great day to review what your week was like, how many workouts you got in, what your nutrition was like, and rate yourself on a scale of one to 10, and share it here. Like, let's keep each other going and keep each other accountable to these goals. So I'd love to hear what your specific goal is going forward into the next week. Um, and that being said, for those of you, sorry, I've got a crazy eyelash. For those of you doing um, the Beachbody All Access Annual Pass, for those of you that have Beachbody On Demand and are doing that, it's so tempting to jump all over the map into all the different programs because there's this virtual library of goodness waiting for you. Here's the deal though. All of Beachbody's programs are created in a very specific way. So like Core to Force, it's meant to be done according to its workout schedule for the course of the entire workout. Same with all of them. They all have a workout schedule in place for a reason. So jumping from one workout to the next workout to the next workout actually won't give you the same results as completing an entire workout program with its meal plan according to its schedule. There's a reason these programs work. It's because they're put together by people that know what they're doing. We um, are so tempted to jump around and I would really, really encourage you for, I would say, minimum 21 days to follow a workout program from start to finish. And if you want to get results and feel encouraged in those 21 days, start with the 21 day fix. Follow its meal plan, follow its workout schedule according to the days and, and just do it and watch the changes because changes breed motivation because you get results and you'll feel it and you'll be on fire to keep going. So if you're struggling with knowing what program to do, start with a 21 day fix because I know if you follow the meal plan and the workout schedule, you will absolutely get results in those 21 days and then move into another program. But they truly are meant to be um, from start to finish. Um, they're set up a certain way to challenge your body a certain way to work different parts of your body on the right days, not overwork a certain part of your body. They're put the way they are for a reason. So that is my encouragement to you, um, especially with the All Access Annual Pass, because I know how tempting it is to jump around um, to just commit to a program. Um, I myself am still committed to Body Beast. I'm working in Focus T25 Gamma, or um, today I did a Turbo Fire Hit, just a quick, um, quick cardio, because I haven't been doing cardio. Um, so I'm working that in as well, but the main program I'm following according to the schedule is Body Beast. 
um, and plot it out, put it on your calendar, make it a date with yourself and know that you're gonna get it done. So those are my thoughts going into the next week. I would love to hear your goals. I would challenge you to set a goal, even though the word is scary, set a goal that you can work towards. Mine is I, I want to lose 10 pounds and I want to get my workout in every single day. That's my plan and getting back to keto because truly that's where my extra weight comes from. I throw in flour or grains and my body's like, poof, thanks, thanks for that. So um, I'm getting back to my keto meal plan and I'm excited to do so because I feel so much better on it. I can't wait to hear where you guys are at. We'll talk to you soon.